What's up everyone? This is Bill with Android Related Stuff. Today I got a video review for you here today. We've got the Nexus 6 and the guys over at Zero Lemon sent this out to me. It's the Nexus 6 uh, Slim Power Battery Case. So this is supposed to give you 75% extra battery. So we're going to take it out of the package. I've been using this for about three weeks now. So I wanted to use it a little bit and give you a good review on it. So I'm going to open it up. Apparently this one is sealed here. There we go. So I'm going to open it up and take it out of the package. This is your zero lemon guarantee and instruction manual. So it's basically, it's pretty simple. Uh, this is a 3500 milliamp battery. So this is what all you get in the package. The TPU case, instruction manual, 3500 mAh removable battery, earphone jack adapter, and micro USB U-shaped connector. So you can see what it looks like. So you can order this on Amazon. I believe the standard price for it is right around $60, but Amazon always has them on sale. Uh, you can get them for about $35. Bucks. So here's what you get in the package. Pull it out of here like so. So we'll start out with this little guy here. This is the headphone jack. It's just a headphone jack extension because as you can see, it's going to go in there a little ways. And some headphone jacks might be bigger than this and when it goes to fit in there. So that's why it comes with this piece. Stick this into your headphone jack and then you have an extension. Uh, I don't have a pair of headphones that I would have to use this for, but it is nice that they throw it in there in case you do need it. You're not going to run into any problems. So there's that. Here's the TPU one piece. This is all one piece, solid rubber. It's got nice bumpers here on the sides on the inside there you can see the structure of it so it sits up a little bit there you go so basically this is the battery so you press the button and it gives you four lights each one represents 25 percent so when it gets down to this first light here uh, the battery case itself is almost dead so you can push this and it'll tell you how much charge is left in the battery. When it's plugged into the phone, hold this down. And that lets you know that it's charging now. So it's going to stay on. And you're going to see the little battery indicator light on the Nexus 6 letting you know that your phone is being charged. Simply hold it down again. Now it's not charging anymore. So the way it works, you have a, your micro USB right here. So this is going to be on the side of the case. So this is how you'll charge the phone and battery case at the same time. And they recommend that it takes, uh, I think they said, three or four times of running your phone dead and running this dead. And then charging it back up using this port to charge the phone and the battery, the, ex the extended battery. So... In order for the phone to sync with the battery is what they say if you look on their website. So basically what happens is over time of using this, it will understand how much charge is left in the battery and on the phone is what I'm getting from their website. I don't know. Go read their website and see for yourself and see if you understand it a little better. But... The way it works, when you're charging, when you plug in here, it's going to charge the phone first and then the battery. So you have this little U-shaped connector here. You see that? Basically, it's two micro USB male ends. Micro USB end here on the battery. So this is the way you set it up. Plug this in. So it's going off to the side like that. You can see how I have that. And you can see it says little N6 there. So if you have several things laying around, you're not going to get confused. It says N6. Then the way this sits is you would 
slide this end into your phone, like so. And you're going to let it sit like that. Make sure they're both all the way plugged in. You don't want to push it in. You can see it has a little gap there. You don't want to push it in until it's all the way because you'll break the USB port in your phone. And same with the battery. Don't push it in all the way. Just push it in until it's snug. And basically this is the way you're going to get it in there. So you're going to drop the bottom of the phone in first. Like so. And you can see they do have cutout holes here. That's for your microphone on the bottom of the Nexus 6. I guess you see here the Nexus 6 actually has a microphone along the back side here. See there? So you're going to be able to hear through that microphone through those holes right there. And all the ports on this case line up perfect and everything the way they should. So basically here's the way you do it. Put the phone in the bottom first and then simply work your way up to the top. And there you go. And then kind of make sure it's not lifting up your screen protector. I do have a screen protector on this. And if you were putting a new screen protector on it, this case doesn't come with one. So you could cut it a little bit on the sides here so this bezel that goes over isn't going to lift up your screen protector. So you can see here on the other side you have the power button. And again, these are pretty clicky. I mean, you actually have to push in to get to them. So you're not just going to run my finger on these. You're not just going to bump them and have them turn on. Some cases, battery cases are like that. And then you have your volume up and volume down. And the screenshot does work. But I've noticed that you need to, the way this, let's see if I can show you here. The way the volume button is, so you see there's up, down, let's see if it does it to me. So down and power will be a screenshot. So yeah, so as long as you're pushing on the very bottom of the volume rocker, it still works. I had some trouble at first. You can't push right in the middle because you'll be pushing like right there. That's the middle and it was pushing volume up and then volume down. So I just want to point that out. So you can see here, shut this up. You can see here you have your button. You can see you got four blue lights. So the battery is all the way charged in the case. And then you can see it's not charging. So look up here. You see it's not charging. Let's unlock it. Take you into the battery. Approximately 10 hours left, 79%. So now if we hold the button down until the lights come on, see there, charging on AC. Now this is not fast charging, so it does not support fast charging. Even if you have the Nexus 6 charger plugged into it, it's still not going to fast charge the phone. The battery itself does not support fast charging. And also, the NFC on the Nexus 6 is not going to work through this case. So I just want to point that stuff out to you. The camera, the flash, everything works fine. I haven't had any problems with the microphones. Nothing like that. Although, if you do look around the case, you will notice that there is no other cutouts for the microphones. They are all through this one holes here so let's so you can see it says let's see what it, if it's gonna tell us it says charging we'll give it a minute and I'll show you we'll push that power button again it should say how long it's gonna take to fully charge the phone phones currently at 79 percent and it will it will read and t come up just like your phone charger would it's gonna tell you you know so many hours till full just takes a minute for it to grab hold of it. So like I was saying, I believe the Nexus 6, we're going to pull out the Nexus 6 and look, but I think it has a char uh, another microphone somewhere up in here. And if you look down the headphone jack, the phone is curved around the back, and that hole is not. So I'm assuming your microphones would be able to pick up some sound through that hole as well. I don't know if you can kind of see that. 
See what I'm saying right in there. So here's the way this uh, adapter looks. So now it's plugged into my headphone jack. And then you have this up here. And again, that's because the case, if, if you had a headphone jack that was bigger around right here, you're not going straight up against your phone anymore. You actually have to be able to fit through that hole. I haven't seen a headphone jack that needs it yet, but just in case. So let's see. Uh, it still says charging. So let's look and see exactly. So to get it out, we're just going to pop one corner off. I do the volume side first. Just so it doesn't put so much pressure on the volume rockers if it's pushing it on the volume rocker and power button. So you can see here, the, there's your SIM card tray up there. So the Nexus 6's other microphone... Is actually, I guess it wouldn't, might not need another port. Been a while since I looked at it outside of a case. So the Nexus Six's microphone is the one that's down here at the bottom, and then you can see, see if we can see that, right there, up here at the top, where the camera is. So it really, it does a good job. I haven't had any problems with it. I wasn't positive on where the microphone holes were on the Nexus 6. It's been so long since I've seen it out of a case. But everything looks right. It fits nice and snug. You don't hear any... Oh, that was my, you don't hear any rattling around or nothing like that. That battery sits in there perfect. They got little slots and grooves that it sits in. So you can see there, we're no longer charging now. So we'll push the button. So here's the, the thing with this case. My phone can go down to 20%. And this case will charge it one time. It'll charge it back up to right around 100%, 98, 100 usually from being 20% dead. Uh, that's about what I get out of it. And so they're saying 75% more power is, it's pretty accurate. It's pretty accurate, really. From all the way dead, it's probably gonna charge the phone up to around 75, 80%. So it gets me through a full day, no problem. I mean, as you can see, I mean, I just got home from work, the case, I had the case on the charger by itself, but the phone went down to about 16%, and I put it on charge with the case. It charged my phone back up to 85, 90%. So I never had a dead battery at work. I never had to plug my phone in. Usually I'm carrying a little external battery with me, and I'll leave it in my lunch bag, put it on the charger, you know, on lunch. And uh, to avoid having a dead battery at work, I no long, I haven't had to do that since I've been using this case. Now there is one thing that I've noticed. If after using the case for a few days, it's done this to me three times in three weeks. So keep that in mind. Basically, I'll run the case all the way dead, let it charge the phone back up. Get ready to go to bed, plug the phone plug the phone charger that the Nexus 6 came with into the charging port, let it charge overnight. The phone will be charged, because it charges the phone first, but the battery will still show one light flashing. And you know, that's after seven, eight, nine hours of charging, and it's still showing that. So basically what I've had to do is take the phone out of the case, take the battery, disconnect it, charge the battery in the case by itself, and then it'll it'll work fine after putting it back together. It'll work fine for you know the rest of the week. Next week rolls around, it'll do it one more time. It's done that to me three times in three weeks. So it's not it's not horrible. I don't understand what exactly is going on when it's doing that. Because I've been doing the same thing every day, you know, charge the phone with the case. At the end of the night, go to bed, plug the phone in, 
let it charge with the battery and phone all at the same time. Wake up the next day, battery shows 100%, phone shows 100%. Do that day in, day out, day in, day out, all of a sudden, randomly, the battery didn't charge inside the case. But the phone did. And then, so three times doing that in three weeks. So just keep that in mind. I don't know what it is that's making it do that. I don't know if, I don't think that I'm doing anything wrong. I'm doing the same thing every time and I'm doing it by charging it and going by what their website says. So again, this is the Nexus 6 Zero Lemon Battery Case Slim Power. And keep in mind, this does not come with a screen protector. I know in the past, a lot of Zero Lemon cases have came with screen protectors. This one does not. So make sure you're getting a screen protector. I would suggest the glass screen protectors. And you can also get screen protectors from Zero Lemon as well. So anyway, that's my review for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I definitely would recommend this. I know it adds quite a bit of bulk to the phone. You can see there, I mean, the phone is twice as thick, if not a little more than twice as thick. But if you can handle adding that extra bulk, the Nexus 6 is already a pretty big phone. But if you can handle adding that extra bulk, it's definitely worth it if you don't want to have a dead battery at the end of the day. Uh, this will definitely be the way to go. This is the best one that I've seen on the market. I've tried out three other ones that are on Amazon uh, for the battery cases and most of them are like two-piece case on the outside that snaps together stuff like that um, This has been the best one that I've seen and I've had probably this is probably about my sixth Zero lemon case not for this phone, but for every Android phone that I've had if there's a zero lemon case available I'm ordering it right away or pre-ordering it Before it even comes out so anyway, thanks to the guys over at Zero Lemon for sending this out to me. Uh, make sure you check out my Google Plus community Android-related stuff. Um, we'll be giving one of these away. So make sure to share the video and uh, tag me in uh, Google Plus. I'll be randomly picking a winner to receive this. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And uh, have a good day.